The morning in Gujarat today after the Morvi Bridge collapse tragedy in which 135 people died, including 47 children. That's right, Gargi. Uh, the nine uh, people arrested in connection with the Morvi uh, Bridge collapse were presented in court on Tuesday. The prosecution blamed the company, which was given the contract for the repair work. The prosecution has said that the magistrate court that the contractors were not qualified even to carry out that particular job. Right, lots of glaring uh, issues have emerged ever since this tragedy. Also, while the flooring of the bridge was replaced, its cable was not replaced. Remember, this was a suspension bridge. It was over 100 years old. And uh, the court was also told it could not take the weight of the changed flooring. This was the prosecution said, citing the forensic report. Let's uh, go across to Tanushri for more details. Tanushri joins us from there. And Tanushri, you know, opposition has also been raising many of these questions. Yesterday evening, Mr. P. Chidambaram also tweeted that 48 hours after the more tragedy why is the Gujarat government and BJP not answering basic questions why were the owners of the Oreva company and the municipal authorities not named in the FIR and this is something you've spoken about as well and now in court we're told that the company was not qualified to carry out this repair work that's right Gargi in fact it's been more than 48 hours now but we haven't heard anything uh, from the Gujra from the Gujarat government or the municipal corporation or from the owners of the Oreva who are not even named in the FIR. Now, the nine people who have been arrested, they are only uh, the security guards or the clerks, the lower level, uh, you know, managers of, of the company. So this is definitely looks like a sham work by the police to hush up the case. But as you rightly mentioned, the prosecution in the court said that the company was not even qualified. And this is something the NDTV has been questioning. Uh, Oreva, which is a private company, is essentially Gargi, a watchmaker company. And that company also outsourced uh, the repairing work to a little-known firm. Now, this is uh, something the Gujarat government must answer, and the municipal corporation of Morbi must answer, that why did a firm which has no experience whatsoever in repairing uh, or renovation work of uh, public infrastructure, why were they given such a big contract uh, you know, of a historical bridge in the first place. Uh, this particular bridge, and, and, and you know, Gargi, let's also uh, mention uh, a very important point that uh, this uh, this particular company was not making the bridge. They were doing the retrofitting work plus the renovation work, which is even more important because uh, only a specialized company can do this kind of a work. And we saw what happened, right? 135 people have already lost their lives to are still missing. More than 40 children were brought dead to the hospital. We, can, we cannot even imagine what the families must be going through. So right now, most important point is for the Gujarat government to come out, is for the municipal corporation to come out and answer some tough questions that why was, why was a contract given in the first place to a company which has absolutely no experience in uh, repairing or renovating public infrastructure. They were novice in this, uh, in this field. They, they are essentially a watchmaker company. So um, the Gujarat government clearly has a lot of uh, answers to give, but as we can see, it's been more than 48 hours, Gargi, but no answers from the government or from the municipal corporation uh, or from the owners of this particular company, which is named as Oriva Group. Right, and Tanushi, is the search operation now over yesterday? They were looking for uh, two more bodies and there were fears that they could be perhaps on the river bed, on the floor of the river. Uh, it's very muddy water, the hyacinths in that water, which have been a challenge in the rescue work. But is, uh, is this search operation now over? No, Gargi, the search operation is still on. The units are still, uh, all the defense units, Indian Navy, Indian Coast Guard, Army, NDRF, Teams are still on the field. They are still uh, on the location. They are looking for those two people. This, the figure of these two numbers who are accounted unaccounted for have been given by the district administration. Now, the NDRF commander we spoke to, he says that even if it's one person, all the units will be on the location, be searching for that one person with the same intensity and magnitude as we will do for 100. So, uh, right now, the rescue, the recovery operation is still on. Two people are unaccounted for and the bodies are still being searched for. What, what the biggest worry for the teams is that the water is muddy and now it's been more than 48 hours. So they are actually worried that the bodies might be trapped under the mud or the bodies must have flown uh, a little far from the river. So they are searching, uh, they are in fact conducting a very thorough right and left search uh, today, Gargi.